Hey, and welcome back to another 3D video in Blender. We have now completed the Fantasy RPG series, which you can now watch as a playlist on my channel, so if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and check that out. But today we're going to start a new series of awesome 3D models that are going to be part of a space exploration game. We'll be making new environments, ships, weapons, all sorts of cool stuff. If you have any suggestions for anything that would fit into that category, go ahead and leave it down in the comments and I'd be happy to make a video about it. We'll be starting the series off by modeling a planet, so if you want to follow along, go ahead and open up a new Blender session and we'll get started. Now the first thing that we'll do is add an icosphere to our workspace, and that'll be the main body of the planet. So first, let's get rid of the default cube here. So while in object mode, go ahead down to Add, Mesh, and Icosphere. And we want to make sure that the subdivisions is 3. So that's going to give us a little bit of detail to work with, uh, while still maintaining kind of a low poly look. So now that we have the main body of our planet, the next thing that we could do is add some craters. And we can do that by insetting some of these faces, uh, taking those edges and pulling them away from the main body of the planet. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead into edit mode. So first let's grab a group of these triangles here. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. So to inset these faces, we can hit I on the keyboard, and then we can move them in a little bit. So now we want to hit inset again to create the rim of the crater. So let's go ahead and hit I again with those faces still selected. Okay, move them in a little bit. Let's zoom in. So the next thing that we'll do is select these faces that'll make up the uh, top ridge of the crater. So holding down shift, we can select all of these faces. Okay, and so now what we want to do is pull them away from the planet. So grabbing some of these arrows, we can just pull it away. Okay, and you can adjust it any way you want using the origin arrows. Okay, so that's one crater. And you could do a lot of stuff like add bevels to add even more detail, but I think for now we'll leave it like this. So go ahead and add some more craters to your planet. Next, if we wanted to create some mountains, all we would have to do is select some vertices and pull those away from the planet, just like we did with the craters. That way we could either have some standalone mountains, put them in a group, or maybe make a long ridge. So if we wanted to create more hill-type mountains, we could just select one vertice and just pull that away from the planet, and that creates a pretty, uh, pretty low mountain that's not very well defined. Or what we could do is inset some faces around a vertice and then pull the vertice away from the planet. That way it has a more defined foot of the, of the mountain. So let's go ahead and try that. So if we select this vertice right here, we're going to select all the faces around it. We're going to hit inset face, which is I on the keyboard, and we'll make it about that big. So now if we select the vertice and we pull that away, it gives us a lot sharper of a foot at the bottom here. So now go ahead and put in some mountains on your planet. Now let's go ahead and put in some canyons by insetting faces, extruding those faces into the planet, and then adjusting the cliffs on either side. So let's go ahead and select a line of these triangles here. So in edit mode with face select selected, let's just go ahead and select some of these. We kind of want it to snake around a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we can hit I on the keyboard to inset these faces. We'll make it about that big. Okay. Now we can extrude these faces by hitting E on the keyboard. We're going to move those in a little bit. And now we can use edge select and select some of these edges to move it around and make it look a little bit more organic. So let's grab these edges right here. Maybe some vertices. Let's grab that one. Maybe move that out a little bit to give it some height. Same with right here. Might want to move those in a little bit. Okay. Maybe over here as well. Okay, this isn't looking too bad so far, so last but not least, let's go ahead and add an orbiting moon by adding in another icosphere. So let's go back into object mode and go to Add, Mesh, 
and Icosphere. And we actually want to reduce the subdivisions on this to two. Since it's going to be smaller, we kind of want this low poly look to be accentuated a little bit. And if it is too high of a poly count, it'll look a little bit too much like a perfect sphere. And we don't want that. So with this selected, let's go ahead and scale it down. Okay, we'll make it about that big. And we'll just put it off to the side here. And if you want to, you can go ahead and add some features to your moon as well. All right, this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy about this. So let's jump in and add some color to it. All right, now this was super, super simple, but it still turned out really awesome looking. So definitely try this one out and make sure that you tweet me a picture of your final design. It would be really, really awesome to see what kind of geographical features that you guys come up with. Again, if there's something that you would love to see created in a video, make sure that you go ahead and leave me your suggestion in a comment. And as always, if you got value from this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. All right, keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video.